go through the kettlebell swing and how you can use it to strengthen your hamstrings and lower back, so your posterior chain, and then also as a conditioning tool. So we're gonna start with the Russian kettlebell swing, and now Russian just means we're gonna to go to eye level. So what we're looking for is allowing our body to hinge directly over your toes whilst pushing your bum back. And we use the saying, thumb to bum, or thumb to gooch. We wanna try and get your thumb as close to your body as you can and make sure that you're not allowing that kettlebell to come away from your knees. Um, the other one would be the American swing, which is a full lockout overhead. So you're just extending, so you're driving through the hips, all that power is coming from the hips, and then you're extending overhead, allowing your ears to come through at the top. And then you can see there at the top, he's really tucking his rib cage down, maintaining your squeeze bum to maintain that neutral spine. All right, so the most common problems you see with this would be probably a squat kettlebell swing. So you can see there when he bends his knees too much, the kettlebell comes too far away from his body. And what that does is it puts excess pressure through his lower back. So that's when people start to get sore lower back through there. Uh, through there. So what we want to do is make sure we keep that kettlebell super close to the body. The other one would be allowing the torso to flex too much. So go into the hinge position and just pause. So if we're allowing our body to fall over there, we need to make sure we keep our lats tight and our chest tall so we stick our bum out and maintain that neutral spine so we can uh, stay safe throughout the swing.